Yeah, Pete, obviously a tough one the way that ended. It just what was your message to the team coming out of this? Yeah, we played really hard tonight, and we were on it and uh, had a chance to, to play with these guys throughout, and there were some opportunities in there that we needed to go the other way, and they didn't for one reason or another. And, and uh, um, there's a couple plays we could have made. We made a big mistake in the running game, gave them that big play on the scoring drive, just just made a mistake on the, on the uh, alignment and gave it to them. Uh, you know, we played the running great all night long, rushed the passer tonight, kind of kept them, we felt like we kind of kept them under wraps, and, uh, but um, we needed to score again and get, get ahead. I thought the response right before half and, and starting the third quarter was exactly what we needed to get rolling. And, um, you know, unfortunately, I mean, that, that next drive that they got, uh, we, didn't, we didn't get the job done. And, uh, but it's still tens, you know, and, and so it's, it's, it's a really good football game. Um, and, you know, so on a Tuesday night. Curtis? Yeah, Pete, wh what did you see from your offense just in general, the, the slow start for you guys, and, and where, where did things kind of fall short for you to get rolling on that side of the ball tonight? Yeah, we, we just didn't, you know, we just didn't get going. And, and, and uh, you know, the, the defense stayed out, you know, had some drives that we that we hung on into and, and got off the field and all that. Offense needed to make their conversions and get going. We were one for five on third downs in the first half. That's not enough to get to get it rolling. And uh, that we, we never got started. So um, it was great to see that you know, we jumped it right at the end of the half and then, and then jumped back again, had a really good physical drive running the football and mixing and all that. Everything was just right. And uh, we needed to just finish. It was a close game the whole night. We just needed one more drive. And, and uh, unfortunately, we couldn't, couldn't generate it. Michael Sean. Uh, hey Pete, considering you know the very, very, very slim odds at this point of you guys rallying to the postseason, what's left for you guys? What are you, what are you still fighting and playing for this late? Like we're playing for each other. We're, we're playing for the, for the, the cause of, of you know, loving this game and loving the, the, the guys that, that are in the locker room with us and, and playing for one another. And we've, the relationships that you build during the course of a season like this are, are you know unforgettable, and they they connect you so that you keep battling because that's what that's what it is. It's what it feels like. Um, I mean, you saw how hard we played tonight. Um, there was, there, there's nothing but guys fighting for one another. And so that's what we'll do um, wherever we're playing, whoever we're playing, whenever it, it happens. And it don't matter if it's Tuesday night or Sunday or whatever. You know, we're going to go ahead and go. And uh, we're going to overcome the issues and, and get back to playing and, and focus on the things that make us, make us have a chance. And by practicing well and studying hard and caring and, and, uh, and loving this game. And we're, we're going to do everything we can to get every single drop out of it we, uh, as we go down the stretch here. Thanks. Greg Bell. Pete, um, from here, look, DK Metcalf is obviously irate and on the sidelines, especially at the end of the first half. He underthrowed the ball by Wilson on what should have been a touchdown to tie the game in the fourth quarter. How did you bring him or reel him back in? What did you or somebody do? Because he was obviously a little checked out mentally there for part of the game. I didn't. I, he wasn't checked out mentally as far as going out on the field and playing football. I mean, you saw something I didn't see, and I didn't feel it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see that. Um, he was right with it. We needed him to go back for this and that, and the plays that we were calling. He was totally in it. I didn't see anything that, that distracted. But again, I, you know, things might have been happening behind me. Uh, he was right there when we needed him throughout and didn't waver. Did you get any explanation from the officials on the DJ Dallas fourth down play? Was there any? can't challenge it obviously but you saw it i think since no no there was it, with the with the, the knucklehead penalty that dj gets for kicking the ball dj is one of the great players on our team team guy smart in it great juice great energy and, and he he lost his composure for a flash of an instant and kicks the ball right there so it kind of took they kind of distracted the focus from the call that that was just made i don't know greg you know those guys make these calls when they make them and they, they sometimes they do sometimes they don't um it was it, it happened quickly and uh, it didn't look very good on the little replay that somebody showed me but i don't know i'm not i'm not belly aching about that call we need to win the game in all the other ways we could win the game corbin Hey, Pete, going back to DK, it just feels like for whatever reason this year that he and Russ, the connection just hasn't quite been there. There were a few plays downfield that came up short of this game. Uh, do you have any idea what's going on there? Uh, they're trying, they're trying their ass off to play right. They're, they're working on their stuff, their routes, their concepts. Uh, the calls are there. We're trying to get the ball there. There's, there's no there's, – it has – 
it, we, you just got to throw and catch it, and you got to make the plays, and they got to get the job done. Um, we got to throw it better, and we got to make sure that we make our plays. Um, that I, I, you know, I don't know. No, I don't see anything. I know these guys are working really hard to get it done. Um, you know, it's really, it, it's really. A, I am sick that we didn't have a chance to play with Tyler in this game um, because this is the kind of game that he would have been a factor in for sure in, in, in ways, and, and it's unfortunate, you know, because this was really his, his kind of an opportunity. And, and, uh, and so it, DK had to do it, Freddie had to do it, Eskridge had to do it, and come through, and those guys did everything they could. Art? Pete, your first drive in the third quarter was as good as it has been all season. Uh, why did that work, and why wasn't it sustainable? Yeah, we just mixed it really well, you know, and, and, and DJ finished the drive off. Uh, uh, Penny cramped up um, coming out of halftime, and uh, DJ finished it off, did a nice job with that. Um, guys are blocking well. I thought pass protection was, was as good as it's been against these guys. I, th I thought we held up well, um, and, our, and our pass rush was as good as it's been also against these guys. Um, there was a lot, of, a lot of positives in there. And why wasn't it sustainable in terms of, the offense. Gosh, I don't know. Our, I would, we we tried to go right back out and do it again, you know, and and uh, we didn't make the we, we didn't make the same first downs that we did. Uh, the, the conversions were there in that sequence, and also we ran the ball really well right there. Um, you know, so we just, you know you just got when when the time comes, you got to convert the third downs. We had third and fives. We had we had some we had some good controllable third down situations that that we need to make. Bob. Um, yeah, Pete, ask, just to ask about another kind of controversial flag, I guess. The, what did you think of the uh, hold on, on Bless Austin on, on the third down there? The I, I didn't quarter? see it. I, you know, he had, I think he had three penalties thrown his way, and I was told that, that two of them weren't penalties, you know, but I, I don't know that. And I, and I, I can't tell you. Um, I know he's really physical. He knocked the guy down on, on, the, on the last one. That was a huge place, like third and 12 or something like that. We're off the field, and they get a first down right there. It's a very, very untimely call, or, or untimely play for us. And, uh, um, you know, I know he's physical, and maybe that I, I didn't see the, the actual uh, contact there, so I, I have to wait to see the film. And, and ultimately, did you feel like the, the delay, I mean, could you tell, I guess, was there much impact on this game and the way it was delayed for a couple of days and all that? I, I don't think it had anything to do with anything. It just made it, made it seem like forever to get to this game. It seemed like it was two weeks ago when we played um, yeah, and, and all that. But uh, the event here, the stadium was good. You know, our guys were lit up and, and fired up about this opportunity. They were, too. Um, I don't think it had anything to do with anything. Now, we got, it's going to be taxing the next week, and we got to do a nice job of getting back and recovering. Uh, it's a short week coming up. Brady. The, knowing what you know now about who was available for you guys, who wasn't, and vice versa for the Rams, how much do you feel like the, the postponement uh, hurt you guys in this game? Obviously, I, I know, as you just mentioned, it's going to hurt you next week, but in terms of this game, how much do you feel like it put you at a disadvantage? No, I don't think it put us in a disadvantage, it really. I think it, it, the delay helped them. It helped them. You know, they, they were able to, to, to get some guys back um, that, that wouldn't have played on Sunday, I, would, I think. But um, other than that, it, 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 didn't, it didn't hamper us other than not having Tyler. Tyler's one of the best players we've ever seen, and he wasn't there tonight, you know, and he didn't quite make it back. He was battling all the way to this, this morning. He would have flown up here in the morning if he could have passed his test. He couldn't get it done. So, uh, you know, we were competing at every turn on that one. Matt? You touched on a couple of penalties already, but you look at some of the key ones in this game. There was Alton Robinson on the, you know, touching yeah. the kicker. That's three points, yeah. They're punting yeah. the ball. There was Bless Austin's defensive hold that kept that drive alive. There was um, DG Dallas kicking the football, and there was that false start on Rashad um, when it was third and one. When you just look at the the collection of those, you know, what's your reaction to that and how much? Yeah, it felt like, you know, it felt we, – we've been – you know, remarkably good penalty-wise during the course of this season, better than maybe we've ever been, uh, with fewer penalties per game and all that kind of stuff. But it, it seemed like, um, like young guys, new guys. You know, that's what it kind of felt like. And and, and you know, making the wrong choice at the wrong time, kind of. You know, just kind of felt like um, a little bit of inexperience in that. You know, run, run into the kicker maybe on a third and twelve. You know, you don't whatever. You know, you don't have to use your hands as much. You, know, you make a good decision there. I don't even know if that's a penalty. You know. Um, uh, you know, booting the football. You know, those those are those are things that really we should be able to get through, and it should not even be a factor. In those three plays, and they didn't do anything. They didn't do a thing. And we did all that to ourselves. And and uh, now, you know, but so it felt like that. It felt like that. The, the you know, 
the guys that came up right in those situations were new guys and, and, and unfortunately you know it wasn't the most experienced guys that we've had around and guys with us and, and so maybe that's just part of the newness Masvida. Pete, why were you so successful in the pass rush today? Carlos Dunlap and bringing the pressure. What was happening there in this well, game? Well, I think that Carlos took advantage of his opportunity against a you know, guy came in, uh, you know, for Havenstein. Um, I don't know how, I, I, I don't know. I know he had three sacks. I think one was on the right side, but I think two were on the left. Um, you know, but, you know, they had to play a backup there. And, you know, Carlos has been around a long time, and, and uh, he had a, a, one of his best games um, rushing. So I, I thought he, he took advantage of his opportunities really well. This was a game about opportunities. You know, so with some of them we, we captured and some of them we didn't. And, and uh, it's really frustrating to have to live with that. Thanks. Curtis? Yeah, Pete, two quick ones. Uh, your thoughts on the play of Jordan Brooks today? Yeah, he was really active. He was really active. I love the play on the screen, of course, and just continue. I mean, we were, that was a game where we're under three yards of carry in that game, you know, in the first half, playing exactly like we've been playing for months and, and uh, really kicking butt in the running game. And then that darn play gets out and, you know, the 40-yard play that we just lined up wrong and missed on the lineman. And, and, uh, and uh, um, he was all part of that. I thought he was a big factor in them. He and Bobby, they continue to make the plays. Um, now, we get really good – uh, line of scrimmage play from Allen from uh, from Puna um, and and you know even without Monet tonight our guys were playing like we've been playing um, so there's some real consistency there and we've got some real strengths there uh, you know as, as we're going through this season that should keep showing up and, and your guys that did end up going on the list how are they doing is everybody kind of as far as you can tell at this point yeah really what I'd like to send that message out that our guys aren't sick you know, they, a couple of guys felt a little something, but they're not sick, sick, and, and they're not feeling real bad. And they're, they're, they're really, it's really frustrating for them because they don't feel bad. And, and uh, this, the new uh, thing we're dealing with, uh, you know, the Omicron is, is, is absolutely on fire, virulent, but it's not a big factor um, in, in how it's affecting us at this point. We're going to learn a lot more. We, that's, that's on no information and no research and nothing. But the early indication is that, you know, guys feel something and that's it, you know. And, and, and uh, so we have, to, we have to do a good job of getting back from it. Um, these guys did a nice job getting back. When they got some guys back in three or four days, we got to make sure and get that done. I, I don't think we're done with this thing. I think it's, we're, we're still dealing with it. Anything else? Thank you, everyone. See you.